After a choreographer passes away, the legacy lives on through the graceful steps of dance. Here in Playhouse Square, such a legacy is alive and well thanks to Cleveland's repertory company, Verb Ballets. This week, they debut a new piece for the troupe, Vespers, by the late Alvin Ailey dancer and choreographer, Ulysses Dove. Earlier this year, the dancers of Verb Ballets rehearsed this beautiful and extremely challenging piece in the Idea Center's Gund Dance Studio. Ten, down, stand, go, one. Down and down, remember my plie. Sit. Ulysses Dove was a, a dancer, choreographer. He began his um, career with Anna Sokoloff, and then he um, danced with Merce Cunningham, and from Merce Cunningham, he danced with Alvin Ailey. My brother expired um, about 15 years ago, almost 15 years ago. Since that time, I've been um, in the process of becoming his administrator of his ballets. Um, the one that you're watching now, Vespers, was set on um, Dayton Contemporary um, and Dayton, and he spent about 30 days with them to create this ballet. The first time I saw this work, uh, this beautiful ballet, was with the Alvin Ailey American Dance uh, Company in New York back in uh, the late 80s, I would say 89. And I first fell in love with the, with the piece. And I dreamed of it back then of, of perhaps, you know, restaging it when I had my own company. And so it's a dream come true. I am the one in charge of getting the ballet set on other dancers. Um, these dancers here in Cleveland I've never seen before. I, I was seeing them for the very first time on Monday, ever. So we put them through a few, a few movement phrases to kind of get a sense of the way in which they move. Um, then I could kind of start to see, get a chance to see who I wanted to place where and so on and so forth. And I'm the one who teaches them to dance from beginning to end and give them every aspect of it before it goes to stage, to get them stage ready. Well, the Vespers uh, is a strong, sort of meditative yet explosive dance. Uh, each of the women have their own solos, which is a sort of a, a celebration and a Prayer. It's like an ebb and flow of the Holy Ghost and how it affects each member. And when, once they receive it, 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 it propels them forward. Um, once it's finished, as if they're being possessed, they go run back to their seat and that's when they calm down and the energy gets someone else. Working with Ulysses, he enabled us to take our dancing to another level. You know, it's like we never approach dance the same way after working with him because he brought so much out of you and he opened up so many more uh, uh, windows that, you know, you just never, and, and you just never thought about. And not to say that we didn't have lots of teachers and choreographers come in there, but, you know, his way of communicating was just right on point. It's probably the hardest dancing that they've ever done. But after they finish doing his works, they are not only a better dancer, but they deal with the whole artistry differently. They, um, he is able to pull out of dancers things that they weren't even aware that they could do. Here is good, here is good. This gets to be too much. Yeah. Boom. Bam. We, we come with, with many challenges here because the first challenge is the amount of time in which I have to set it, which is seven days. We have a 30-day process. Normally when I go out and set this work, I have 14 days. So 14 is already half of the original. Now you're cutting me back even more. So my challenge is the amount of time, as well as their challenge, because there's a lot of information I'm needing to give to them. Then there are the challenges of learning something brand new in your body, getting used to it. So there's the soreness 
the pain that the body is in while I'm still pushing them to give me everything at the maximum. Oh, that inner thigh. It's emotional. Um, I feel my brother in the room when I, when I watch, and that's why I like to come. And um, it's, it's great, you know. It's, 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 it is emotional, though. Um, because I wish my brother was here. Every time I work on this piece again, there are lots of elements of deja vu because it felt like I related so closely to Ulysses that it always feels like he, he's there. We had worked so closely and I understood. I mean, I was just right here with what it is he wanted and you know, I could see it when it was there and I could see it when it wasn't and it's just, it just feels like a channel and he just comes right down into the space and it's a beautiful thing. Into the chair, up, and come on, keep coming, and sit, boom. You better dance. I want it every time. Verb Ballets presents the Ulysses Dove work, Vespers, here at Playhouse Square in the Ohio Theater on Friday, October 24th. For more information, you can call 216-241-6000 or log on to the Applause homepage online at wviz.org where you can see our show on demand.